U.S. stocks fluctuating here as the economy shows more signs of recovery, but concern grows that the European bailout of Greece may fall apart. Malcolm Pauly's president and chief financial officer at Stewart Capital Advisors, which has a billion dollars in assets under management. He joins us now with his take on the market. Boy, the news out of Greece was so early this morning. Mm -hmm. It feels like a lifetime ago. Right. Malcolm, welcome, considering the news that's uh, broken this afternoon. Thank you. So let's begin with what we're hearing out of Washington. Mm -hmm. uh, the House just released its proposed bill mm -hmm. on health care legislation. I see that you're actually overweight health care. So does that position have anything to do with how you see the health care, health insurance industry in this country evolving? Well, in a certain sense, yes. We, our investments in health care really are investments in things that help or that work with cost takeout and cost reductions. We do have investment in the health care healthcare insurance industry and in, term, in particular some of the uh, health care, uh, health insurance companies that, I know they get a bad rap, but the reality is if you get rid of, if you eliminate their profits, you really don't reduce much cost in the industry at all. So the, pro the, the problem really is not profit in that area. We also like uh, generics and particularly over-the-counter generics and, and certain um, f medical products businesses that help reduce the cost of health care over long term. I'm going to hope not mm -hmm. catch you off guard, but the health bill will raise drug maker fees to right. 33 billion from 23 billion. Is mm -hmm. that a significant increase to you, and does it change again your outlook specifically on pharma? It, it is a, a significant increase. In, significant increase, I think. Uh, it doesn't really change our outlook in terms of pharma, as we've strayed away from branded pharma for quite some time because of the, the patent issues that they that they have. Uh, we stick with generic uh, drug manufacturers. Uh, that the trend continues to be to push uh, scripts toward uh, generics, and in particular now, now that you've got a number of those generics going um, over-the-counter, uh, companies that take advantage of over-the-counter generics also should do very well. Washington also wrangling over financial regulatory mm -hmm. reform. You are underweight right. financials, particularly banks. Right. Does that have anything to do with what's coming out of Washington? Again, they're wrangling over this Dodd bill, the American right. Bankers Association, just on our air. I interviewed a banking CEO mm -hmm. who says, no thanks, this is not working for us. How do you see this one panning out? Well, I think that the regulatory scenario in Washington certainly doesn't help the bank investment market at all. The reason we are underweight banks really largely is tied to the fact that the only way banks can increase revenue, and the only way they can increase earnings is to increase their balance sheet. And most banks are not growing their balance sheet, they're shrinking, and we really don't see that changing over uh, the next year, year and a half. Quickly, uh, Alan Greenspan, as Lindsay was just reporting mm -hmm. to us, putting out this paper, raise capital reserves for the banks by 40%. That's better than regulation. You think that's a solution? Raising capital reserves at banks itself would not have uh, have uh, tempered the problem that we went through in 2008, early 2009, because a large part of the capital uh, really it was non-banks, so brokerage firms and investment banks that didn't have the same capital constraints that normal spread-based banks did. So capital itself won't solve the problem. It really is looking at risk. And Malcolm, favorite part of the interview, you came armed with stock picks. Right. CF Industries and a company with the ticker SQM, which I'm not going to venture to pronounce <laughs> because it looks like it's of Chilean origin. Correct. So what's behind these picks? Fertilizer. Uh, <laughs> it's not a, not a pile of, of, of stuff. It, it, it's a very it is a attractive. Program. Appreciate yes, that. it's a very attractive investment opportunity. It's a very highly fragmented uh, business. CF was involved in a, take, in a takeover action. They finally looks like are going to win the hand of Terra Industries in their takeover battle. Um, but the fastest way to increase food production on a global basis is through the use of fertilizer. So also the cheapest way to increase food production as opposed to using hybrid seeds. So uh, we like investments in fertilizer. All right. And in our remaining 30 mm -hmm. seconds, where do you see markets at the end of the year? The end of the year, we think the markets will move modestly higher. We're not looking for anything even remotely close to what we experienced in 2009, either in the volatility or in the strength the markets had through the balance of the year. We think we've seen, a, particularly in the, in the mid-sized mid stocks, we may have seen a large part of our games already this year. And the rest of the year could be a bit of a slog to the finish, so to speak. Malcolm Polly, great to talk to you. Thank you very much.